What is going on guys? Welcome to the show. I'm Rush. Thanks for joining me. If you're new to the channel, I'd advise you to drop down, leave a comment, and be a subscriber if you enjoy this video. And it's just going to be about some of the equipment that I use and one year after use. So without any further ado guys, let's get right into it. The first item to be my Otter XL hut. Um, I actually got this hut at Shields and it's a really nice hut. It is the uh, Thermaltech Otter XL, the four man. Really a nice little hut here. One of the reasons that I actually do enjoy this hut over most huts is it does have the ice lock on it. These right here are critical. They're crucial, especially when high winds come and start ripping your tent apart, boys. Um, last year, I went through three, that's right, three Jason Mitchell tents uh, just because the wind would come up and it would literally rip the seam every time. I would have it strapped down, I'd have even the, the corners pinned down, and every time the wind picked up, the Jason Mitchell would just rip off the ice and it would just start flying down the ice. It happened three times. So I finally brought that back and I got the cheaper Otter XL. This thing is so warm, I believe it's 600 grain insulation, very warm, uh, lots of space to put stuff. It's got webbing, it's got some rod holders, it's even got a little propane uh, hose spot. It's got two of them actually, so if you guys are doing whatever, you can do it too. Um, the windows do pop out, they are pretty thick. Uh, plastic. I have not had any issues with the windows ripping or tearing or peeling or anything. Uh, I know some of the Eskimos have issues with that. This one does not. Uh, this is a very strong, very durable tent. Uh, let's see, one of the other problems that I had with it was one of the poles came out. One of the poles in the corner came out once. Um, and that was when we were expanding it to open it. Uh, this hut, I can generally do it by myself. Uh, it's a little bit harder. It's obviously much easier with one other person, two or three people. Uh, when the wind's howling, you must have at least two people to do this. You cannot put up a hut in the wind by yourself. Uh, I mean, unless you anchor it down all four times before you even start. But this hut is pretty doable by yourself. Like I said, it, this is just the XL, the four man. Um, it's blue, really stands out on the ice. Uh, and like I said, it's very warm. The zippers work very well. I haven't had any issues with the zippers. Besides when it like gets cold and they freeze, you get a little bit of moisture on there and it freezes. Other than that, uh, zi zippers work really, really well. Um, the air vents work pretty well. I really haven't heard any issues or complaints about air vents on any of the other brands, but uh, these ones work pretty well. The stitching all holds pretty nice. Uh, and I'm honestly just comparing this to the old Jason Mitchell. I, uh, I've owned three of those and I took all three of them back in one year. That's how bad they were. They were horrible. Jason Mitchell, do not buy that brand. Uh, it's just a really bad brand. But the Otters though, this is a beautiful hut. Um, I really do enjoy it. I would advise anyone to buy it, honestly. For the price, it's cheaper than, J the, it's cheaper than the Jason Mitchell, and the quality is so much better, guys. This is a really nice tent, uh, and after one year, it's held up very nice. Uh, I don't think I've even ripped a stitch anywhere. Wait, scratch that. Scratch that. This is my only rip. This is my only rip right here. I, uh, these are pole holders, and this is the only thing that ripped, uh, just because I stretched it, like, really far and uh, it ripped, so that's that. That's the only issue that I've had. They got some nice little pouches here. Stuff will get wet if you put it in here, but uh, that's just from the condensation, the moisture, and all, all that such. But other than that, guys, after one year use, the Otter XL is holding up very nicely. Um, there's other reviews on how to set it up, etc. I'll actually probably link a few in this video. But I just wanted to keep this one kind of short, just to kind of, just to kind of give my thoughts after one year of use on the Otter XL, the four man. Um, if I could, I would buy the six man. It's much bigger, probably a little harder to set up by yourself, uh, but there's much more room. I fit, I fit four people in in here, squished. It's pretty squished. If it's just me by myself filming with holes, uh, camera. It's just about enough room for one one person comfortably. Uh, you could fit two. I've done it before, but it's a little tight with camera gear. 
you could probably fit four people in here pretty comfortably with a very limited amount of gear. Uh, but this is a good hut for two to three people. Pretty ideal for one person. It's huge. Uh, and yeah, people sleep in these ones all, all the time. So pretty nice. The Mr. Buddy heater works. I have just the regular solo standard buddy heater. Uh, and it, it, it keeps this be pretty warm. So that's all for this video, guys. But stay tuned for the next one. Uh, it should be posted every day. There should be a couple videos this week. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good day.